I brought my little buddy. Y'all don't have to be so far away now. Come on. <laughs> my gracious sakes. We don't want trooper cop us back there. Well. Listen, let me tell you this, and I, you know, I think you know me well enough to know that I, I don't blow smoke at anybody. You know, I don't have time for it in my life, and all I can do is tell you the straight skinny from my side. What you're doing is God's work. It's, it's a hero's work. You know, it is amazing and we didn't lose anybody's life. We didn't have anybody hurt real bad. I mean, it is truly amazing all the stuff you do. And from my standpoint, I, you know, I, I don't tell people, oh, I know what you're going through. I don't do that. And the reason I don't do that is because I don't know what you're going through. And none of y'all know what people are going through. Really, at the end of the day, all we can do is try to hold out our hand and try to help. And the job y'all have done is unbelievable. You know, the Kanawha County Emergency Management folks, unbelievable. Hi, Jenny. Hey, I didn't know Boy, you was outside. <laughs> come on up here. We've been there, haven't we? Yes, we have. A bunch of times. Yes. A bunch of times. Yes. That's why I say, you know, I'm not going to say I know what you're going through, I know what you've done, but really and truly, I've, I've been there an awful lot. And I've waded the mud, and uh, I've seen the sadness beyond belief, and yeah, I can't say it enough, but uh, you know, this little rascal here and I, we've, we've been there a lot, way before the governor did. And so, so with all that being said, uh, all I can do is thank you. And all I can do is just stand, stand right by you and try to help in every way. And see, Doug, why don't you come up and say a few words. And Jenny, if you'd like to, too, that'd be great, too. Come on, Jenny. Come on. Well, I don't have a lot to say. I I'll say that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Jenny always got a lot to say. I'll say this. You, Everybody here for the last... All been one big group supporting each other. It's just a big team. We're like the Pond Stars. Right. I don't know ever answer, but I know somebody does. I'll call these folks. We'll call you. I'll call the state. These guys have been good work. They've done great work. work. They done great work. Yeah. Nobody died. They've done great work. They knew when to go and when not to go. So that, that was a great thing. They were, they were well trained and they didn't make any mistakes. And nobody died at the process. Right. It's, um, you know, we appreciate all the support that you've given the voluntary agencies in getting supplies out in areas we couldn't reach, but you helped us reach those areas. And, you know, like C.W. said, when you work together, good things happen. And when your focus is on the families and helping them recover, then good things continue to happen. And that's where all of our focus has been. And... We appreciate all the support that everybody's given. We really do. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let, me, let me just tell you this. And, and I can remember like it was yesterday. All of a sudden the flows, 2016 hits, and all the sadness and tough stuff. Tough stuff. And we wade the mud and we see family after family after family putting all their possessions out here and, and that just ripped my guts out from the standpoint of, you know, that was their life. And then they just load it up and throw it in a dump truck and off it goes to the landfill. And it's sad, really sad. And we saw lots of people that, you know, the past and everything and terrible loss of life and everything else to go with it. You know, with all that, we saw exactly what we just saw right up the road here. And that is just this, neighbor loving neighbor, people pulling the rope together, West Virginians being West Virginians, say what you want, 
but it's really different. It's really, really different. You know, and, you know, there we are in the little church up there at Winifred, and, and one of the ladies walked in and said, the people that come in won't take enough stuff because they feel like that maybe, just maybe, somebody else needs it more than they need it. That just shows you how great you are. I mean, you're really the real deal. You've been there forever. Governor, can I say something real quick? Sure. Our first response agencies here that are kind of unsung, and I've never seen them do better work, is the Department of Highways. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're first responders. They are, too. We, don't, we kind of forget about that. But I've never seen them do better work than what I've seen them today. In the last, since, since yeah. uh, Saturday night, I've not seen better work than what they're doing right now. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. And don't blow your head up too much. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm not blowing up too much. <laughs> <laughs> they've, done, they've, they've done great work. They've been responsive. Yeah, yeah, Anytime we've called, yeah. they've been responsive. Makes me feel good. Makes me proud. And uh, some way, somehow, everybody will get through this. Yeah. You know, you hate to say it, but when it gets this way, the only thing to do is just get tougher than what's already happened. And uh, it just... You know, everybody pull the rope together and everybody help one another and we'll get through it. Another person said pass it on. Just continue to pass it on. It's good. Good stuff. I can never thank you enough. I mean it. I mean it. You want to come up here and say hi to baby dog? I know you'd a whole lot rather see her than me, so you know, <laughs> uh, she'll sit right there. And, you know, the neat thing, you know, this is, this is really true. Now think about it. Now, and just put up with me just one more second, okay? Definition of coincidence. An everyday occurrence in which God chooses to remain anonymous. Now think about that. A coincidence is an everyday occurrence in which God just chooses to not say, I did it. And really and truly, just think about this. All of a sudden, COVID's here. My, my son and daughter just hand me a bulldog puppy. Lord of mercy, you know, and, and before you know it, she's riding up and down the road with me. Bulldogs are not supposed to just love everybody. They're not, you know. And so with her, really and truly, she made you smile, and she loves everybody. Coincidence. They don't have to be great big. I mean, lots of people say, well, I don't, I don't ever see a miracle. You're not looking. You're just not looking. And there'll be all kinds of miracles. There already have been all kinds of miracles in just what's happened right here. And it's happening right all, all around us, all over the place. So come up here and say hi to Baby Dog. And uh, keep doing the great work. I'm really proud of you. Thank you all. Thank you all.